In this ClickFunnels 101 training, Ryan from the Branding Group shows you how to connect Zapier with your ClickFunnels account. Today, in our Funnels 101 live video series, we're going to be talking about Zapier and how to integrate that with your ClickFunnels account. So if you don't know, uh, Zapier is a software that will communicate between different platforms. Um, and to be honest, Zapier has saved us so much time and effort and energy and um, just even has saved us from making uh, human errors because what it does is it will communicate. So for what we're going to talk about today, we're going to be talking about ClickFunnels and how you can integrate Zapier with ClickFunnels. And so, for example, when someone enters a funnel and they enter, let's say you just have a simple opt-in page, you ask for name, email, phone number, you can use Zapier to know that, okay, somebody just entered in. You can add them to a Google Sheet. You can add them to your CRM. You can add them to um, a Facebook custom audience. There's literally thousands of apps that Zapier has that you can communicate between. Um, it is a service that you have to pay for. However, a lot of the things that you would do with Zapier you probably have a PA doing it or some sort of assistant doing these tasks and it completely offsets the cost when you really think about it. You know, me and Alex were talking about it the other day and even though we're spending a lot of money on Zapier, um, the things that we're having Zapier do is it would cost us, you know, a couple of assistants because we literally have hundreds of zaps running. Um, and the more we keep learning about Zapier, the more, the more zaps that we use. And so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use it with ClickFunnels. It's honestly really, really easy to use, and it's a lifesaver, like I said. So let me go ahead and share my screen here, and we will get started. So um, Zapier, this is what it looks like. This is our – it's just a, this website that you use. Um, and this is what, how to use it. So first thing I would do is just click, uh, make a zap. And so, um, the first step you have is the trigger. And so what that means is whatever happens, this is the app that you want to trigger all of these actions. It what it's what sets off the zap. And so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to choose click funnels here as our trigger and you have different options here uh, most of the ones that we do we do with new contact activity okay um, if you have you if you don't have a zapier account you'll have to connect your click funnels account with it um, obviously we already have so we can just choose it um, but it's really easy all you would need to do is click this button right here connect account Make sure you're logged into your ClickFunnels account and it will connect. So that's literally all you have to do. It's very, very easy. Click save and continue. And then um, now we need to choose the funnel that we are going to use for this, this zap. And so I'm going to choose one. It's our giveaway funnel sales letter funnel. It's the funnel that we send people to to, to buy our famous giveaway funnel. Um, and sometimes it takes a little bit for uh, Zapier to pull up um, all of your funnels here. But once it does, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to scroll, scroll through, like you see right here, and you'll see all of the funnels that we have. So um, obviously we have a bunch of funnels, and so you don't really want to scroll through. I would just start typing. Um, start typing it in and see if it pops up. And it doesn't. So we just have so many. Sometimes it's hard for Zapier to find it. So the easiest thing to do would just be to click this button right here, use a custom value. And you just need to put the funnel ID in right here. And what you need to do is just go to your ClickFunnels account. I'm on the funnel that I want to use. And um, if you notice up here in the URL, this little six digit, is that six, seven digit number? That's your funnel ID. So you can just copy that and then come over and paste it there. And then you need to choose the funnel step that you want to watch. And so I want to watch if somebody 
you know, enters in on this order form. That's what I want to be looking for because I will know if somebody bought or not. And so that's what I'm going to do there. Then just go ahead and click continue. Now, right here, what it's doing is it's pulling in information. Now, this is a helpful hint. If you have not personally gone through the funnel or nobody has, you need to do that before you set up your zap because uh, you need some information inside of your funnel for, for Zapier to pull from. So that's what this is right here. This is people that have gone through and have gone through the funnel. And so we can use that on, on this uh, the rest of this information here. And so we'll go ahead and click continue. And we're good. So we've set up our trigger. Um, and now we're going to set up some, some following actions. And so one thing real quick, we didn't name it. So I'm just going to name it uh, Zapier Tutorial. All right. So uh, the next thing we need to do is add a step. And so from this, we can do a lot of things. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is something that we like to use here at the branding group called Banner Season. Um, if you haven't heard us talk about Banner Season before, Banner Season is a uh, platform that allows you to send direct mail to uh, your clients and prospects and that kind of thing. And so you can, inside of Banner Season, you can actually set up um, campaigns that will just trigger automatically. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to take somebody that just bought a giveaway funnel from us and I'm going to drop them into a list inside of banner season. That's going to send them some gifts for buying our giveaway funnel from us. All right. And so uh, like always, you're always going to have to set up your account with it first. Um, it's really easy. All you do is click connect account and follow the instructions that they give you. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're we need to fill this in. And the way that you do that is you click this little plus button over here on the right hand side and you're going to fill in um, their information. So first name is right here. We got last name, um, street address. So we're sending them something in the mail. So, and if you didn't ask for this on the funnel, you would need to make sure that you do that. Um, let me just do this real quick. So you just fill all this in. This is makes it. This is the information that it pulled from our ClickFunnels account earlier. All right, and then this right here is the most important part. It's the contact list. Um, you'll obviously we'll have set this up already, but we have a list called Giveaway Clients, and if you get added to this list, they get sent a card in the mail. Um, thanking them for buying the giveaway funnel and giving them some future steps. And so um, that's what we have there. And the rest of this, we don't really fill out. And you can just click continue. All right. Um, and if you want to, you can, you can always test out your steps by clicking this button. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to, but you can always do that just to make sure that you set it up correctly. So, uh, the nice thing about, about this is we can just continue adding on steps uh, so that we can just use this one zap. So I'm going to add another step. And one thing that we like to do a lot here at the Branding Group is um, how we have lots of Google Sheets. And so what we can do is we can actually take this person who bought a giveaway funnel and we can add them to a Google Sheet of all of our giveaway funnel buyers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this option right here that says create a spreadsheet row. I'll click save and continue. Um, again, you have to connect your Google Sheets account. All right, and then from here, we're gonna to have to choose our spreadsheet. So um, we have one called the giveaway Zapier sheet. And the worksheet that I'm going to choose is our new clients worksheet. So now what this is going to do is it's going to pull in all of our, uh, the, the column titles that we have inside of that, um, inside of that Google sheet and it's going to automatically update that row. And so I will just do this real quick. Um, now the reason that we like to do this is because we like to keep track of everybody that bought it. And then what we actually do is, um, so this is going to notify us that they bought and um, and a cool thing about Zapier 
is another trigger that we could use instead of doing new contact activity. Um, we could choose um, a new spreadsheet row. And so we like to just kind of move people along in our Google Sheets. And so once we're done creating their uh, giveaway funnel, what we'll do is we'll copy and paste them into another Google Sheet, and that's going to send an email from us. And we just keep moving them down the line. We just keep moving them. You know, somebody bought, okay, now that our funnel is done, we're going to send them an email with the funnel, and we automate all of that. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create some Facebook ads for them, and we'll move them to another Google Sheet when the Facebook ads are done. And we just make everything automated. And so that just it makes it way easier on everybody that's working on it. Um, it makes it way easier to not make mistakes and just make sure that we're sending the clients everything that we need. Um, so that, so, so far what we did was we had somebody buy the giveaway funnel from us. We added them to a list in banner season. We created a spreadsheet row of them. And then what we could also do is make a Trello card. I don't know if y'all use Trello or not, but we do at the branding group. We like to use it a lot. It's the way that we keep organized and we communicate between all of the team members. And so what we like to do is we like to create a Trello card with the client's information. And it's just really nice to have that automated so we don't have to think about it. Um, and so, and then as soon as it gets created, we get to work. So we don't have to like wait for Alex to tell us that, hey, somebody bought a, a giveaway funnel it's time to get to work on it. We just get the notification. We see the, the card show up. And so we can um, get to work right away. So the, we have a board called project management tasks. That's where we send our um, clients to that we need to work on. So open tasks. And again, this is all already built out inside of Trello. Zapier is just pulling our information from there. And so now we need to name the card. And I like to use the client's information. So we can go back here and we can use his name and we'll say giveaway funnel. And then I won't walk through this, but you can, you can make the description. So if you wanted, you could put all of the client's information in here. You know, like we have their name, we have their email, we have their phone and you could just again, choose it from the trigger there. Um, obviously I'm not going to do all of that. And then what we actually did, so you can actually change we want it to go to the top because it's an important thing. You can change the members of it. So Chris Murphy, he's the he's our funnel expert. You've seen him do these. Me and him are the ones alternating each week on who's doing these live video series. So you could choose that. Um, and then we like to add in a checklist that we have for, for Chris so, so he can make sure he does everything that he needs to. So we have our to-do list, and then you can just add the items like you know, send client email, um, uh, determine prize, and, and you can just keep going on and on and on. And so obviously I'm not going to fill all that out, but that's the, that's a really cool thing about this is that you can just keep going like that. Click continue. All right. And we'll skip the test again. Um, this time I'll go ahead and just finish. Well, let me, I'll click add a step. I just want to show you what all is available in, um, in, in Zapier. So you can also integrate with mini chat. Mini chat is the, uh, mini chat is the chat bot, uh, Facebook messenger marketing service that we use at the branding group. And you could even take these people and add them to, you know, a sequence and send them Facebook messages using that. Um, you can send them, you can add them to a Facebook custom audience so you can start sending retargeting ads to them. Um, there's lots of different things. You know, you could create a Dropbox folder if you need to, if, if you need to communicate back and forth with the client a lot and you want them to add some materials to a Dropbox folder, you can do that. Um, you can send them text messages, uh, Zoom. We actually use this when somebody creates a phone call with Alex. Um, we automatically create, have Zapier make a Zoom link if they need to talk over Zoom with Alex. Um, integrate with Gmail so you can send emails to either yourself, you can send emails to the client, 
Um, you can add them to a click send list. So you can send out a text message. There's just so many things that you can do with Zapier. And honestly, the, the possibilities are, are endless. And so that's what we've got there. You can also add in delays. Um, so let's say like you want to send a follow up email a week after you've gotten started, you know, you could add a delay. Let me just show you how to do that real quick. You can add a delay. You can say delay for, and then, um, we'll say the number and then we'll say seven days and click continue. All right. And then, um, another really cool thing that you can do is you can filter people. So maybe there's certain people that you don't want to, for example, you know, we use banner season, but we only want to send to people in the U S because if we send out of the U S it costs us a lot of money. So one thing that we like to do is right here, we like to add in a filter and only continue if, and what we like to do is we like to choose, um, go and find their country. And then we say text contains, and we'll just say United States and then click test and continue. Okay. And, um, something went wrong there. <laughs> um, Let me try that again. United. So there, it would have continued because he's in the United States of America. So click continue. And so that, that just weeds out us from, you know, sending people to a package to Australia and it costing us a ton of money. So, um, that is the demonstration there for, uh, Zapier. Again, if you, um, we, we use it a lot. We have a lot of Zap set up here at the branding group. Uh, we have a lot of different things that we do with them. The possibilities are, are, are endless. And so um, if you have any questions about that, please just comment on the post. Let us know if you have any questions. You know, we can teach you more how to use it. Um, but that's it for today. So hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, we highly, highly recommend using Zapier. It'll save you time. It'll save you money if you're sending, if you're, uh, if you're paying a lot of assistants and admins and all that kind of stuff. And it'll get rid of human error because it won't mess up. And so um, I hope you enjoyed that. And everybody have a great day. Hey, I'm Alex Branning. You just watched one of our replays of the Funnels 101 live video training that we do in the Funnel Hackers Community Facebook group. I would love for you to join us in there. We do regular live training. We drop free funnels. and We have other resources and goodies to help you in your online marketing journey. We are an encouraging community that wants you to succeed. I'd love for you to join us. You can click in the link below, Funnel Hackers Community. I'll see you there.